here is by far the smallest little air conditioner I've ever met. It's the Zero Breeze and it was a Kickstarter a couple of years ago. And when I saw that Kickstarter, I didn't think there was any chance they were going to ship anything. So I was really surprised when they actually shipped a functioning vapor compression phase changing air conditioning unit. We can see in here that it has a tiny, tiny, tiny little compressor that's like half the size of a Coke can. That's a very cute little compressor. And the compressor is run by this motor control board. It's actually a three phase brushless DC compressor. Really impressive. Uh, and it can even be driven uh, with variable speed, although the Zero Breeze does not drive at a variable speed. They only just turn it on and off. Um, you can see these MOSFETs here are what are controlling the three phases. And then there's just this one line that goes from the controller for the compressor to the main board of the Zero Breeze. Really, this main board hardly does anything useful. It's got a Bluetooth receiver on it. I don't know why you would want a Bluetooth speaker inside your air conditioner, but they put that in there. It also has a flashlight. I don't know why you would want that. Uh, so yeah, really all it does is turn on the two fans and turn on the compressor. That's the only thing useful that this board does. Uh, looking more inside, you can see there are two condenser coils here and here. They're very, very effective. They hardly ever warm up when the thing's running. And then there's a muffin fan here that sucks the air through these two coils and then blows it out this way. Works really well. Uh, there are no filters on here, so I would expect that eventually these filters are going to get fouled, especially if you use it at the beach or in the woods the way they do in the video. Uh, coming out of the compressor, here you have the hot gas line gets split between those two condenser coils and then runs back up to this, which I'm guessing is the receiver, although I don't understand how it works being oriented horizontally like this. If anybody knows, is this a special receiver? Tell me. Then here you just have a normal capillary tube going to the evaporator. There's also a really nice service port right here with a cap and everything, and it's got this foam on here probably to keep it from rattling. Really nice. I mean, high quality design here. Here is the evaporator coil, which is the same exact coil as they used on the condenser coils. And this is a centrifugal fan that sucks the air in through the evaporator and then blows it out. This is exhaust port. Uh, you're supposed to connect, obviously having hot air blowing into the same space that you have cold air blowing is not that useful. So the way you're supposed to use this is either blow the cold air like into your tent or something from the outside, or there's a hose that you can connect to sort of blow the hot air somewhere else out of your room. That's about it on this. I guess I can turn it on if you want to see how it works. So let's first you power the whole thing up. You know, give it a second and then you turn on the air conditioner. Here it goes. So you can hear it turned on the two fans and the compressor. The compressor is making, you know, it's like a rotary compressor. So it makes, you can hear it, the clicking when uh, the piston's going up and down, but it's, it's not so bad. And it really does make, like, this air is cold. It really does make cold air. It's very impressive. Didn't think they would ship anything. Such a cute little compressor. Adorable.